Today, Ed wants to put his power to the ultimate test. With one blow from his hand, he will attempt to smash through a 20 stone stack of concrete. There's no way I can afford to let my guard down. I probably could injure myself if I took it too lightly. Hi Ed, I'm Paul from Salford University. Pleased um, to meet you. What we're hoping to do is measure the force that you're actually generating on impact with the blocks um, and also measure the velocity that your arm's moving at as well so okay. we can work out exactly how fast your limb's moving and how much that contributes to the force that you're generating. Ed needs at least 300 pounds of force, an impact that would normally shatter bone. Concrete does deserve respect, especially if you want to break it with the human hand. Newton's second law um, states that every action has an equal and opposite reaction, um, whereby if he makes contact with this and it doesn't break, the force bounces back at him, um, and that's where it's going to create the damage, but possibly even breaking the bones in the hand or the arm. I'm going to demolish it. Worst case scenario is he gets it wrong and the block breaks him rather than him breaking the block. I totally believe my, my bones are harder than any material, any wood, any concrete. I become into like a hypnotherapy state. I actually become someone else, I play a character. I become a character called the thug. To me, he's the best breaker in the world. Where I actually believe my hand is a knife going through butter. This is the force, the peak force at impact. And you can see here that actually we've gone off the scale uh, and he was exerting over 200 kilograms of force. You're doing that within about 0.2 of a second. So you're generating a very high force in a very short period of time, which is difficult to train people to do. You need a combination of both strength and speed of movement. That definitely puts him in the sort of superhuman category. <laughs> My kids will love that. I think it's fantastic. That's a real honour. If a normal person hits the stack, their bones would break. So why not Ed's? The answer is his have been toughened by years of training. Each time there's an impact, microscopic fibres shatter, but in a principle called Wolf's Law, grow back bigger and stronger, giving Ed harder and denser bones. From all the years of training that he's done, he's been loading the bones you know, for probably 30 plus years. Combined with obviously very good technique as we've just seen, and he's hitting with the heel of his hand as well, so it's not direct contact to a bony surface. Um, so he's certainly conditioned himself for what he's doing. There's no good um, having the uh, strength and the speed if you don't believe in yourself. You must believe you're going to beat the person opposite you.